So, so what's up? Erica, I'm writing a story, and it's going to run tomorrow. And it's going to say, among other things, that you are a CIA operative. We're going to fast track the story, your story. I want to get it on doorsteps tomorrow. No, I know, I know. It's Watergate. It's the wrong country. The paper will be out in two hours. When that story comes out, you'll be out in the open. You did it. This changes everything. You're going to win a Pulitzer. None of this was my fault. I'm not going to be punished because there is a traitor among us. The president has been shot. There were at least three of them shot. I'm with the FBI. We need you to come with us, please. You were within your rights to uh, print the information that you obtained. However, your source is in a great deal of trouble. They want your source, right? I won't give it to them. Are you sure you want to get in a war with the government? God, this is so crazy. And if you want to waltz into a courtroom in a martyr's cloak, trust me, you're going to see a wave of self-righteous indignation that you can't even begin to imagine. I hold you in contempt of court, and I remand you to the custody of the United States Marshal. As soon as you're prepared to speak, you will be released. Can I have a minute with my client? It feels like his only real target is Rachel Armstrong for publishing the article. I'm gonna be okay, sweetie. The weather's changed, Rachel. If we back down, what are we saying, Albert? I'm defending Rachel Armstrong, not a principal. I'm gonna make sure that you don't make it home for your son's high school graduation. The federal government is fighting for a principal, too. Somebody in the CIA messed up. The story's been published, the path has been chosen, and there's no way back. I direct you to reveal the identity of your source. You are going to walk right off the plank in the bowels of hell. Do you know that? 